cytoreductive surgery, or CRS, and HIPEC, which stands for hypothermic or heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy, is a highly specialised surgical treatment offered only in a few centres in the UK for cancers or tumours that have originated within the abdomen or tummy and spread within the abdominal cavity onto the peritoneum, which is the lining covering the surface of abdominal organs and the abdominal wall. The purpose of cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC is to remove all disease in the abdominal cavity and this is to improve survival rates compared to traditional treatments such as chemotherapy. In some cases, there is potential for cure. Cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC is used to treat various types of appendix tumours, colorectal or bowel cancer, stomach and ovarian cancers that have spread within the abdominal cavity. Other rarer conditions suitable for this treatment are Pseudomyxoma peritonei, or PMP, which usually originates from an appendix tumour, peritoneal mesothelioma, and primary peritoneal cancer. Although there have been recent advancements in chemotherapy, they are less effective at treating cancer deposits on the surfaces of the abdominal wall and the organs in the abdominal cavity. When the spread of disease in the abdomen is limited and patients are deemed fit enough for a major operation, cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC is a suitable treatment option. We discuss all patients in a specialised MDT or multidisciplinary team meeting involving surgeons, oncologists, radiologists, pathologists and clinical nurse specialists to try and work out which patients are likely to benefit the most from this type of treatment. We carefully review all up-to-date scans and all previous results and general fitness for surgery. Sometimes we may suggest more investigations such as a keyhole examination or laparoscopy to give us more information as to the extent of disease. Not all patients are suitable for cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC. For cytoreductive surgery to be maximally effective, the abdominal cavity should be the only site of spread really. If patients have disease or metastases in multiple sites such as the lung, or disease in the abdomen which is too widespread, then they are unlikely to benefit from this type of surgery. Therefore, we may suggest such patients continue with traditional chemotherapy or even adopt a watch and wait policy with further scans. Each patient is assessed individually and a treatment or surveillance plan is put in place. If we think patients are suitable for cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC, we arrange a specialist clinic appointment to discuss surgery. Cytoreductive surgery involves a team of surgeons trying to remove all visible disease from the abdominal cavity. This usually involves a combination of removing some of the peritoneum and the abdominal organs affected by cancer spread. This operation lasts an average of 8 to 10 hours depending on the extent of disease and a typical operation may involve removal of part of the colon or rectum, organs such as a gallbladder or spleen, in women the uterus or the womb and ovaries are removed. In all patients the amentum which is a fatty apron that lives inside our abdomen is removed and again the peritoneum which is the lining of the abdominal organs or abdominal wall is removed. It also may be that a stoma needs to be formed either temporary or permanent. Immediately following cytoreductive surgery, we perform the HIPEC part of the operation. And HIPEC is essentially a chemotherapy bath or wash that delivers heated chemotherapy directly to the abdominal cavity, usually for an hour, with the intention of killing any remaining cancer cells that are not visible to the naked eye. The chemotherapy agent is mixed with fluid to form a solution that is heated to 41 to 42 degrees Celsius. This solution is administered in a controlled and safe fashion 
via secure tubes which are placed directly into various parts of the abdominal cavity. These tubes are connected to a machine that both heats and pumps the solution, allowing continuous circulation of the chemotherapy solution. Temperature probes allow the temperature of the solution to be measured constantly. Cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC is a major operation and there is the possibility of complications arising from the surgery and the HIPEC. These include bleeding, anastomotic leak, and this is when the bowel lens that have been joined together do not heal. This always requires antibiotics and sometimes a drain and even a second operation. Other complications include fluid collections within the abdomen. This may require a drain being inserted into the abdomen under x-ray guidance. Blood clots. Within the leg, this is called deep vein thrombosis or DVT, or in the lungs, pulmonary embolus or PE. Wound infections, chest and urine infections. These infections are treated with antibiotics, but severe infections may require more aggressive treatment on the intensive care unit. Overall, the administration of the heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy or HIPEC into the abdomen has been found to be safe and does not have the usual side effects that are sometimes associated with chemotherapy. Overall, serious but treatable complications occur in 10% of patients, that's 1 in 10. There is also approximately a 1% risk, meaning 1 in 100 patients will not survive cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC. Most patients spend a couple of days on the intensive care unit following surgery before being transferred back to the ward. Depending on the surgery involved, patients normally stay in hospital for an average of two weeks. Physiotherapy is a very important part of your recovery. The role of the physiotherapist is to work with you to maximise your lung function and increase your mobility postoperatively. The important thing to bear in mind is that there is a whole team, including junior doctors, nursing staff, surgeons, physiotherapists and dietitians who are all looking after you and will monitor your progress daily. Unlike traditional systemic chemotherapy that is delivered in the bloodstream through the whole body, HIPEC chemotherapy is largely isolated to the abdominal cavity and only a small amount is absorbed into the body. Therefore, higher doses can be used without the side effects that occur with traditional chemotherapy. And this enables HIPEC to be more effective at killing cancer cells in the abdominal cavity, where it penetrates these cancer cells directly. Conventional treatment with systemic chemotherapy may be recommended if we feel that cytoreductive surgery is not possible when the disease spread is too extensive to safely remove surgically. Of course, patients may prefer to be treated with chemotherapy alone if they do not wish to undergo this type of surgery. And as discussed before, another option is a watch and wait policy. This means we monitor the cancer closely, and if it continues to grow, then we may suggest that you either continue chemotherapy or undergo surgery. This type of surgical treatment does have a big impact on your body, both physically and psychologically, and we find a lot of patients feel very tired for about three months. It's important to have a good family network, and your surgical team, along with our specialist nurses, will provide additional support and encouragement during this period. Research has shown that after three months, quality of life does start to return to the levels prior to surgery and we find that quality of life can thereafter improve in some patients, usually after six months. I think it's important to note that although this is extensive surgery, it is possible to live a relatively normal life without the organs removed during your surgery, although some lifestyle adjustments may be required. <laughs>